what we're looking at here is two of the two of the best phones uh, that you could buy. Um, just wanted to uh, shoot a quick video, take a look at a few things on here: browser speeds and things like that. My uh, iPhone died in the middle of the original recording, so got to plug it up. I'm actually going to hook the iPhone to Wi-Fi because Verizon's network, 3G, is just, man, it's, it's not fast, period. It's just not fast. My, home, my personal hotspot is not even faster than T-Mobile's 4G network, kind of sad. <laughs> but it's not. A couple of things I wanted to to look at was um, um, the speed of T-Mobile's 4G network. So I'm going to go to uh, a website here. Sorry, I'm recording this. My digital camera is on the fritz. So I'm recording this with my iPad. I'm just going to go to website <laughs> now look at that let's go to the verge Just give you an example of how fast T-Mobile's 4G network is again. So let's see, where's Mobile Burn at? Got Mobile Burn over here. Now let's go to Engadget. If I can't find the Mobile Burn. There we go. You're looking at that. Just opening a couple of web pages here so you can see how nice the T Mobile 4G network is. I've got this hooked to Wi Fi because, again, Verizon's network is just not good for 3G. Their OTE is impressive. So let's open pages. I guess I had to have it. Oh, I guess it's kind of hanging. It's deciding it's not wanting to open this page fast enough. <laughs> Let's do, let's really push it hard and go to a website that's doesn't have a mobile website, a mobile version. And that site is going to be PhoneScoop. PhoneScoop doesn't have a mobile version. There it is, right there. All right. The signal strength on uh, wow, my Wi-Fi is not even <laughs> opening this this site for whatever reason. 
Now, the signal strength on the T-Mobile phone may say all those bars right there, but the location definitely plays a part. In my house, I just don't get 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 good service with T-Mobile. Wow, that that page didn't even open, and I, and this is on this hotspot right here. Wow. I guess it's doing the little hanging thing. You can see the T-Mobile page is still trying to open everything up. I don't know what that's about. It's hooked to Wi-Fi for sure. Let's try a different page since it doesn't want to open that one. G GSM Marina is another website. And the team one finished. Uh, GSM Arena is another website uh, that's not on mobile. It doesn't have a mobile version. I would say that T-Mobile has a good, strong 4G network. Regardless of what people say, oh, yeah, it's not real 4G. Well, nobody has real 4G. Um, t t nobody has real 4G. And I forgot to add that the Galaxy S is loading up the uh, ads and everything. Let me see if I have this set to on-demand. Because I like my full browsing experience. No, I have it as always on. So, wow, this is really going to blaze through. Let's see what it can do. Let's see if I have Craigslist. Oh, got Craigslist right there. Non-mobile. Wow, that was blazing fast on there. Oh man, we gotta we gotta open something up. This iPhone likes likes that website. So let's give it some kind of advantage. Oh, I didn't hit didn't hit the same thing. Well, looks like they both like that website. Let's go to discuss. You know, let's get a YouTube going before I end this video because it's probably getting kind of long. So I'll leave them like this. Let's see how good T-Mobile's network really is. I'll just pick those two, and they're both on high quality. Let's turn T-Mobile on high quality. Now they're both on high quality. Let's hit play. This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at this two phones. This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at smartphones on T-Mobile. 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 Smartphones on T-Mobile.
Um, it is a nicely built phone. Nicely built. I think people are impressed with the iPhone. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll give credit where credit is due. Um, I'm not a big Apple person, uh, but this this is a nice uh, nice build quality. A little little bit on the heavy side, uh, but you're getting quality. This people always say, "Oh, I don't want all that plastic." Well, you know what? It makes for a light phone, uh, and it's the the camera on here is just immaculate. Uh, the the build quality of this feels solid. In in the back of this phone, it doesn't have the matte finish. It has that it's slippery back on it. But I, I, you know, the Galaxy S2 line to me is the line to compete with. They have their entire Galaxy S line is just amazing, especially the Galaxy Note. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're on T-Mobile, if you can get a white one, definitely get a white one if that's your thing. Just get get this phone if you're on T-Mobile. The phone itself is T-Mobile's best product right here. Definitely better than the HTC Amaze. You know, people say, oh, the Amaze is, the Amaze is just wonderful. Uh, the Amaze is okay. It's a heavy phone. Um, it looks good. I'll give it. It has great build quality, just like the iPhone has great build quality. But I would prefer the iPhone over the HTC Amaze if I had to choose. Uh, but definitely prefer that phone over any phone right now, even my Galaxy Note. The only thing that makes me say that is the size. The, the, the Galaxy Note is is a good size, but you know I can throw that anywhere, and I don't feel comfortable putting the Galaxy Note in every pocket, you know, for fear that I might crack the screen. Um, but for the average user, I recommend the iPhone. Great build quality. Um, one day there will be a 4G iPhone. <laughs> Who knows? But that was a quick look at uh, T-Mobile's network and the speed. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Post your video responses if you like. I'll, I'll, I'm happy to take a look at them. Comment and uh, come back again. Thanks.